Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations. In today's episode we're going to be doing a bit of filler work. This is a how-to guide on filler work. Filler work? We've got a lovely dent in this car behind us mm -hmm. to show you how to fill it. In the tall boat we showed you it in the last episode. Lovely, yep. lovely crease in the door. So we're going to we're going to pull it out a little bit. We bought a really cheap dent pulling kit from Amazon. And we're going to test that out. For you. <laughs> for you, not for, no. not for me. No, no not Defin for you. Definitely no. only for you guys. Um, <laughs> we're going to see how good it is. We're gonna check it out. And then we're going to put some filler in it. And then we're going to sand it smooth. And then that's going to be the end of the episode. Yeah, simple, simple one. Um, we're going to run through with what we're going to be using today. Yeah, um, let's start with the filler. Yeah. This is my favourite filler. Uh, there are plenty of other fillers. This is the one I like to use. You pull fantastic. Um, it's fantastic. It, 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 they, does, they, it says in the tin. They, they nailed the branding on that. Fantastic stuff. Filler spreaders, um, metal one, and trusty old normal plastic ones. Lewis has had them for Various. a long time. The amount of times I've rescued them for the washing machine is unbelievable. Well, they like a wash every they now They do now. like a wash every now and Keeps again. Keep them clean. Various different sized filler spreaders. A uh, long one for long filling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, excuse me. <laughs> medium one for medium filling and a small one for small filling. Then we've got blocks. Uh, I've got the old Dura blocks out. I like the Dura blocks, they're good. They're a bit bendy for some things. Mm -hmm. They come in different sizes and, and in different amounts of. For first stage filling, these, these yeah, blocks are fantastic. good. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to be using a bit of our own block. Mm. These ones which are a bit is, stiffer. Doesn't flex yeah. at all, which is stiff as stiff a gets. Lot stiffer. That's. Oh, mixing oh, board. Yeah, mi yeah. Mixing board. I thought that was it, but it's not. No. Mixing board. Now, you can buy what's called an onion board, which is lots of bits of paper. I find that extremely wasteful. This is just a one big chunk of aluminium. It keeps the filler nice and cold whilst you're using it so it doesn't go off on the board as fast. And you can just sand it down. You can just use engineer. your when you're done with it, just scrape it off with your metal filler spreader. It's clean again, ready to rock. It is, it's, it, it makes so much more sense. It does, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so, look, there's a good inch of filler on yeah, there. It's fairly, fairly yeah. thick in filler now. It's becoming a mini volcano, I think. Mm -hmm. There'll be time to sand that back down again soon. Right, you've got some gloves to protect your skin, and that's it, really. Oh, where's your sandpaper? Sandpaper is all the way over there. It's all the way over we'll there. talk about sandpaper later. Yeah. Let's go and find the dent and the dent removing kit. Right, we have found the dent. Here it is. It was pretty hard it's not to miss. It's quite a good dent. It's probably one of the bigger dents on the car. Which is pretty good for the car, really. Here is the kit. There's the dent, here's the kit. Well done. This yeah. is the kit <laughs> from, we bought it from Amazon, like Amazon. I said earlier. Dent removal kit. Dent removal kit. Hot glue gun dent removal kit. It comes with glue sticks of different sizes and different colours. Different viscosity. Different viscosity glues. The black one is for the sides. And the window. Which is thicker <laughs> in the windows apparently. And the white one is for more vertical flat surfaces, horizontal surfaces, um, so it doesn't run away. Which, and it comes with a lovely looking little glue gun, which we're not going to use because it looks like it's going to set fire. A little tiny hammer, look how tiny oh, the hammer so is. Cute. Um, a s the handkerchief. More importantly, it comes with this tool here and these pads. So I think what you do is, sorry, I'm going to stand up. Oh, yeah, I can crouch door. down a little bit like this. Thank you. You put your hot glue on your dink, mm -hmm. you stick your pad to it, like that, and then the pad slots into this groove here, yep. like that, and then when you pull these two feet, it will pull the dent out of the door. I've never used this before, I've never had a go with one. Not hot I've used a, one. I've yeah. used a pin puller, which welds a pin, so it's Probably very much the same, apart from you can't see exactly what it's doing all the time. Whereas, because it's got a, such a big foot, you can't see exactly what it's doing. But no, this is more this is more testing it for you guys at home, really. Yeah, and I think it might be handy for um, 
the BMW the E46 we've got is peppered in tiny little dents mm. and I think it might be handy to try and pluck a few There's of them out. There's all sorts of different shapes of pets. Yeah, not just the blue ones but the bigger ones. There's and... also some little um, <clears throat> tappy Yeah, dents. I think what happens is you pull the dent the opposite way with the glue and then you have to tap it in with a little hammer. Dent, paintless dent removal, I think, is the... It's like that, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got our things. We've also got some um, scrapers to take the hot glue off after we've finished. And it came with a little spray bottle that you put isopropyl alcohol in to remove it. So here we have all the tools that came in the kit. And here we have the cracking dent. Look at that. You can see that just... Oh, yeah. There we go. What a dent. It's what a butt of a dent. It is a crack, isn't it? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we're we're going to... I suppose the good thing about these hot glue kits is um, with the weld on one, it, it burns all everything off from the back of the panel as well. That so you're left true, with bare yeah. metal bits on the back, whereas the hot glue ain't going to do that. Speaking oh, of hot glue. There we go. Hot gun has heated up. So we are ready now. Right. Uh, never done this before. Right. Oh, it's a bit hot. Think about glue. <laughs> Good sizzly. Right, so Lewis has just bonded that pad on. I only used a little bit of glue. I don't know if that's a correct amount of glue. We're just winging it at this point. We are, we are. That. Oh, I mean, it's on there. I mean, it's got to be pulled off anyway, but. Yeah. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Let's try it. And there's slots in super easy, nice. nice and, and these are feet are rubbery, so they're not going to damage anything. They are rubbery. Oh, look at pulling that in. Ooh. Oh, that's really good. Woo! There it goes. Came off. You pulled the whole pad off. Do you think it pulled any of the dent out? I don't know, it's hard to say. It's really to say. Oh, scrape it up. Well, that came off quite easily. And the dent is still there. <laughs> Let's give it another go, put a bit more glow. Right, waited a minute or two extra for that to... Oh, it's really, really gone off. Oh, yeah, oh I can see it coming. And there it goes. Right, let's see. It looks like a ladybird did glue. Right, I think we need to remove the residue. Okay. So let's try this. Maybe the Is your still tanky? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to spoil the surprise or anything, but that's looking alright. Let's have a look. That's definitely an improvement up on that upper dent. Look at that. That's an improvement. Oh, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's and have just, another go down here. Let's have a look at the light. Right, I'm going to go across the light. It's it's definitely coming out. The smaller dent remover yeah. is definitely the way to go. Well, I'm looking down the side of the car and it, it does look better. It does look better. It's definitely pulled some material outwards though. Yeah around here so yeah. I guess now at this point you're supposed to use these chisel tools to, the on them. to dent to to hammer that back into we'll go that quickly. Let's have a look. What are they made out of? Have you plastic. Seen? They're plastic, hard hard plastic. Hard plastic. Um here you go. Tiny <laughs> tiny little toffee hammer. For you to just A little play with. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Well, yeah, that that's that is working. That is taking the the high spot down. The high spot down. So let's um. Let's get real here and, and give a right. real 
power meter tools. <laughs> this is great because I've got access because there's no there's no door card, mm -hmm. there's no window, there's no glass. You can hear the difference when I'm that's contacting metal. The general idea is to make the dent as good as possible before we put filler on it so we don't have to fill it up with filler. Yeah. And that. Greatly improved. Mm -hmm. Still still there. You could work at that all day long. You could keep doing this until it's completely gone. This is more than good enough. I mean, the polyester spray filler would take that out. Yeah. So we're just gonna give it a key now and a quick skimmer filler because that's half the point of the video. It's we the point, we're showing sure people how to do can't filler be, um, work. Yeah. Taking that out completely right. and not leaving the filler work. But with this kit, I have to say for the price of it, it's mm. not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll put know. a link in the description if anybody wants to try it out for themselves. Exactly. Yep. I mean, it was fun too. It was fun. It it's something we'll keep in the toolbox. Right. Now we've played with that. That was fun. That was good fun. I enjoyed doing that. Did you? Did you want to do that? I enjoyed watching you do that. Good. We uh, we need to sort this dent out. There's only a small little dent there now. But we still need to sort it out. Uh, so I'm going to key it with this um, 180 from Merca, Merca Iridium 180, and one of our blocks. And you can see where the dent is. Let me get closer. Oh, it's so much easier to see now. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That's the dent. Right right, and key that up in there as well. Also, any of that glue residue. Sand it away. Mm -hmm. It's so important to key your surfaces before you put filler on, otherwise it just doesn't get a good grip. It could fall off. Right, so our dent was here. I like to mark it clearly with the sandpaper, doesn't matter. So you know exactly mm -hmm. where that dent is, it's there. What do you do next? We need some filler. Let's get some filler. Glove it up because it's horrible when you get it on your skin. No, it dries you out so fast, doesn't mm. it? Right then. This is a nice metal uh, filler spreader. This is one we're going to try and start supplying, I think, mm -hmm. in a little shop. When we get all our blocks and stuff sorted out, we're going to try and make little kits, like um, good filler boards to the right size. This is a really good size because mm -hmm. it fits. I'm waffling. Yeah. Am I waffling? You're not waffling. It's good it stuff. It fits between your elbow joint and your fingertips, yeah. and you can sort of hold on to it. It's a work in progress at the moment, guys, can... but it is coming. Yeah. So, filler. Mm -mm. I've been using that. Get a nice big Gross. scoop of that. Not how much ever you need. No, you only need a little bit. Yeah, well, that's, that's a big scoop. Way more than enough. Slap that on your board. Now, the correct mix ratio is 2%. Mm -hmm. 2% of this to that. What is that? This is hardening. Hardening. It comes with the kit, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Right, 2%. This is. 2%. This is um, that much. There you go, it's 2%. Yeah. If the filler goes pink, you put too much in. Yeah. If it sets before you get to the car, <laughs> yeah, you, you put, put way too, too much, much in. in. Right, so Lewis is mixing You've got to mix it in. this. Let's have a look. Think of raspberry ripple ice cream. And then you lose all your ripples, it's ready to go. <laughs> have you done that before? many times <laughs> so make sure it's all mixed in and ready to go you don't get a lot of working time with this so don't hang around bit of the filler on your spreader and that's it here we go just a skim just a skim When you fill in, um, you want to be as neat as you can be. The neater you are with applying your filler, 
the less time you're going to have um, Blocking it sanding down, yeah. it all down. Like if, if I'd have put all of this filler on there, blah, 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 and made a right lumpy old mess of it, oh, it's going to be a right pain to mm -hmm. sand it all smooth again. Chances are it won't be that nice a job, so mm -hmm. you have to put more in it. Whereas if you take your time, put just the right amount in, you smooth it out nicely, it's, it's going to be run. less blocking, which just is less work and we all want less work. We all want to do that. And you also don't want to have to sculpt the side of a car out of a huge block of filler. No. Nope. No. Nope. Right, right, so let's let that go off. It yeah. only takes a couple of minutes. I'll go and find somewhere else to put this. Yes. What you go and do that for? What's up with you? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, go on, shoot. Get your frisbee go. <sighs> right, we're back. We're back in the room. So, we put filler on it. It's dried. I'm going to be using one of our blocks and some Merca Iridium 80 grit to block this filler down. Yeah, nice and coarse. Nice and coarse. It's a dead flat panel, so there's nothing to it. Hold the block flat, move it backwards and forwards. <laughs> <laughs> That is the lesson complete. And up and down. <laughs> no, seriously now, what are you looking for? Right. You can see high spots where it's been sanding and low spots. The most important thing to learn when you're sanding, when you're blocking filler down, is to learn to listen to what your block is telling you, basically. When you're sanding away, obviously, that's a high spot. You still need to sand there. So we continue sanding. That's what the block is saying. It's not flat yet. So keep sanding. Very easy, flat. You can see here it's starting to poke through the um, the base coat, thin, but uh, the epoxy behind it. You can also see where the dent was. Yeah, the darker, yeah. more solid um, uh, filler colour. It's not see-through. That's where the dent was, so it's, it's deeper there with the filler. It's also telling me I'm not using a big enough stroke because it's still... Yeah. There, so Straight across. Keep sanding. We're getting there. Yep. You can see there's also a bit of a low here towards the edge of the door where we've been pulling the door out probably. Mm -hmm. I wasn't going to be worried about that. The spray filler will take care of that. Yeah. We're concentrating on that deep dent really. Yeah. Right, that's close enough. So, for normal primering, really you need to finish at 180. Mm -hmm. So we're going to stop here because it's getting close. You've taken the bulk off with the also, 80 grit. we've hit steel. Yep, yeah, look, do you see metal there? see steel there? Yep. When you hit steel, stop. Because yep, you you're not doing any good anymore. Yeah. The more I sand this, I'm only taking away filler from the dent. So when you hit steel, stop. There's, there's no point in sanding any further. Apart from I'm going to continue sanding. <laughs> no, I just need to take out the coarseness of this. For the spray filler, because it's so thick and so strong, and it is still filler, um, 80 is fine. Mm -hmm. 80 is fine, but 180 is If you're doing better. this for prep. So I don't need to worry about yeah. leaving every single in it. But go over that with your 180. Yeah. Take off all the harsh scratching like scratch lines. You'll see the difference. If I show you this one here, you can you can see the the harsh scratch lines in it compared to the 180 finish. And this one. So there we go. That is the dent Kay. filled and gone. Right, there we go guys, that is all done and dusted. That is lovely, nice and smooth and flat, mm -hmm. and no more ding. Um, yeah. Bang, and then it's gone. One, <laughs> one skin wonder. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I enjoyed it. Did I enjoyed enjoy it? it. I did enjoy it. Um, next so, time, I think we'll show yeah. them something a bit more complicated. Next episode, we'll tackle something a little bit more high risk. Mm, mm, bum, bum, bum. Exciting. And then we're going to go on to spray filler. So we'll be showing you um, what the product is, how to mix it up, how to apply it. And how to prep to apply it. it. Yeah. yeah, really important stuff. Yeah. Right then. Thank you very much. See you again See you next soon. time. See you soon. Bye.